So now we're going to talk a little bit more about the breath, and then we're going to tie that in with clarinet embouchure. Um, most of these concepts are adapted from the Educator's Guide to the Clarinet by Tom Bradenauer, which is a great book if you're looking for a more extensive explanation of all of these things. Uh, so first thing is really defining what the full breath is, right? So we just talked about completely emptying and filling the lungs. Um, he presents another way of trying to feel what a full breath is. So you want to make sure that you're using your diaphragm to completely fill your lungs. Right, so you want your shoulders to stay relaxed, you want your chest and neck to stay relaxed. So you don't want to inhale and be really tight and have it be a shallow breath that kind of just goes here. You want to really fill your abdomen and then fill your chest. So he suggests practicing this using the double breath. So as you inhale, first imagine that you're sending the air down into your abdomen and filling that up. And then when that feels full to you, keep inhaling, imagine you're sending it to your chest. So we'll just give that a try really quick. Try out just a full double breath. Just play with it a little. So you should really be able to fill up with air, but not get tight and tense in your shoulders or your upper back. So now we're gonna do another exercise and it might seem a little silly, but again, no one can see you. You can only see me now that my camera's on. Um, so don't be afraid to just give this a try, even if it seems a little ridiculous at first. So. Step one is going to be to take a really full breath. So you can try that double breath method we just talked about to make sure you're getting that. And then you're gonna just imagine that you're directing that air downward, almost like you're trying to push your air into the seat of your chair and push it down. So this should cause you to feel some pressure in your abdomen and your lower back, and that's good. That means that you're doing it. So you're gonna maintain this air pressure. You're gonna put your fingers up to your lips and they're almost gonna act like they're holding your lips closed. So at this point, you should feel like you're trying to blow out, but you can't because you are physically holding your mouth shut. And then to check if you're actually doing that right, you can just relax your cheek muscles. And if that air pressure is there, they should puff out. And obviously that's not something you wanna have when you're playing, but just for this exercise, it can help you see if you're on the right track. And then once we're there, we're gonna quickly release our fingers and relax our lips. And so then that air pressure you created should lead air to burst out of your mouth really quickly. So this is gonna get you to feel the type of air pressure and speed you want when you play. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this exercise and hopefully you'll join me. Right, so I might've looked a little silly doing that with my cheeks puffy, but um, that idea of air pressure and just letting it come out really fast gives you an idea of the air speed we're going to be aiming for when we turn to the instrument. 